party writing task was to write a referral letter regarding Miss Cassandra Kinzer, who is diagnosed with lip laceration and urinary tract infection to her general practitioner Travis Wren at Punch Road Medical Clinic. Here you are a nurse at St. Vincent's Hospital where Miss Cassandra Kinzer is presented and you are writing a letter to her GP requesting follow-up care and treatment. Let us look into the case note first. If we look into the case note in detail, we can see there are two dates given. That is the admission date and the discharge date. We can see that the admission and discharge date are same. That means she was not hospitalized. Here, you have to mention the discharge date in the introduction paragraph of the letter. And the date of the letter will be the discharge date or current date since today's date is not specifically given in the case note. And it is essential to know when the service should be provided. The name and age of the patient is important and should be mentioned in the reference part of the letter. You can avoid the marital status, social background and past medical history while framing the letter because her GP already knows this information. Admission diagnosis, medical progress, nursing management, assessment and discharge plan are relevant and should be mentioned in the letter. But you can avoid writing the frequency of the medicine usage given under the nursing management section because this is a letter and not a prescription list or instead you can simply say the medication lists are attached with this letter. Taking all these points, we have to prepare a letter in an organized manner. Now let us see how we can write a letter with the help of a sample letter written by a candidate from Nigeria. The address written is wrong. Here the candidate has mistaken the name of the patient as the name of the general practitioner and the name of the GP is Dr. Trevis Wren. Therefore, you should replace this name with the name of the patient as written here. The date written is correct. However, the format can be a bit more organized. You can write rewrite the date as 17 January 2016. The salutation written is wrong. The candidate has repeated the same mistake here. Also, the candidate missed a comma after the name. In the reference, we don't have to write age to 32 year. Instead, we can simply say 32 years. And the candidate has missed a comma again after the name in the reference. It is important to punctuate the letter properly to get the required score. Moving to the introduction paragraph, I am writing to referral Miss Kinsar who was admitted on our facility, St. Vincent's Hospital, on account of lip laceration and urinary tract infection and is discharged today in good condition for further medical evaluation, which fails to impress the reader. While writing to GP, you don't have to use the word referral. Instead, you can simply say, I am writing to request follow-up treatment and medical management for Ms. King, sir who was presented to St. Vincent's Hospital with lacerated lip and urinary tract infection which is more impressive and organized. Moving to the second paragraph, Miss Kinzer is single, chain smoker, alcoholism and sexually active, does not use protection when having sex. Here the social background of the patient is irrelevant and should be omitted. Moving to the third paragraph, on admission she presented with lip laceration, abdominal pain, burning with urination, urine appear infected periodically, she was placed on Cipro 500 mg, Clindamycin 300 mg, Peridex mouthwash 10 ml and Oxycodone 1 orally. Here even though the candidate has mentioned the name of the medicines, before the prescription you must mention the assessment part. That is, Ms. Kinsa has no other problems except general weakness, burning urination and lacerated lip. And all the other review systems were negative since this, is, this letter is returned to a doctor. Moving to the last paragraph, Ms. Kinsar is being referral to your clinic for monitoring of her antibiotics and booking of an appointment in sexual health clinic. Lest I forget, she will need your help in treating her urinary tract infection. Here it says booking of an appointment in a sexual health clinic, but actually the appointment in sexual health clinic is already made and you are just passing that information to the doctor. Coming to the wind up sentence, you have to reorganize the sentence in a much better way and mention the name of the patient along with the sentence. Then it becomes, please contact me with any queries regarding Ms. Kinsar. Coming to the sign off, the candidate has again Mr. Comma. Even though it's a very simple letter, the candidate has framed it in an unorganized manner. It has not maintained any professional approach towards writing a letter. The candidate has included irrelevant information such as a social history and omitted the important part like assessment. 
we can also see that the letter is not framed in the priority basis. The letter has so many problems with punctuation, preposition and forms of the words. Considering these points, this letter would score a maximum of 180. Thank you. New method for OET learning. How are you preparing? Online or offline? For speaking and writing, you can get tutor reviews. How will you be able to manage your reading and listening? How can you manage your self-practice easier than never before? Learn OET in Merlin's Way. Most successful OET learning method from world's best online trainer. Chat now. MentorMerlinExam.com